Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and one of the next weapons coming from the Hornet is the GBU-24 laser guided bomb. Now, of course, you already have the GBU-10 laser guided bomb, and both have uh, 2,000 pound class warheads, but the two wep weapons are actually quite different. Uh, the GBU-24 has a much expanded launch acceptable region or LAR that allows it maneuver to hit the target. And a little bit later, we'll be actually adding an all new autopilot for this bomb to really take advantage of that. Uh, the second big difference is it has a penetrator warhead, so it allows it to defeat targets like bunkers. Uh, speaking of which, uh, here on the right DDI, we have a uh, bunker on the targeting pod. Let's go ahead and enable the laser designator, and we'll do the trigger function to manually laser the target. And a bit later, we'll be adding the automatic functions to turn on and turn off the laser. Uh, the left DDI is select GB24 for the GBU24. And we can see that we have two loaded, one on each wing. We'll go to mode. Of course, we have a manual mode, and above that, we have CLAR or CLAR, depending on who you talk to, uh, for pre planned PP, and straight line SL. Let's go SL first for this first attack. And for SL, what's going to happen is it's going to create a zone box uh, between us and the target. And that re represents when we can optimally drop that weapon to hit that target. Uh, for pre planned mode, which we'll take a look at in the second pass, we can actually have that box appear based on the heading input. Coming down, let's go to the fuse. Go tail fuse for a penetrator. For the code, now you want to make sure it matches our pod code, which in this case is 1688. Go to the next one, 1688. Uh, in the middle here, we have program one with our mode, our fuse, our quantity, and our multiple. And with the last two, of course, we can change this if we want through the USC, like we do for other weapons. I uh, here in the HUD. Uh, right now we have a dashed asthma steering line or ASL and on that we have our maximum and minimum in zone cues. Now if we want to we could actually go to CLAR or CLR override and we could launch it uh, uh, either above or below those uh, based on the optimal release cue which we see coming down right here. We also have our time to maximum range when the optimum is below the maximum, our mode and our timer target. So for a CLAR, we're going to go ahead and let this drop down below the maximum cue, and then when it intersects the velocity vector, we'll release the weapon by holding down the weapon release button, which I'm going to do right now. So holding down, and weapon away. Now below the uh, mode, CLAR SL, we have our TTI, or time to impact. And once at 30 seconds at this altitude, I'll start manually lasing the target uh, by holding down the trigger because I have the trigger function selected. Okay, lasing the target. And we can also see that it's lasing, giving the uh, flashing LTDR and also the uh, reticles down on the uh, target pod display. Eight seconds. And splash. Okay, so pretty straightforward as you can see for uh, CLR SL mode. Now let's go ahead and do it for a pre-planned attack. Let's switch our target to one at waypoint two. Yeah, it's currently masked, but when we come back around, we can see it then. And then let's go to the mode, go to pre planned. You can see here in the program as well. And now what we want to do is we want to define the heading from which we're going to attack. So go to the USC, go to CLAR, heading. And for this attack, I want to go, say, west to east, so 90 degrees, so 0, 9, 0, enter, enter. And we can see the heading now here on the profile. And once we're within 20 degrees of that heading to the target, we'll actually see a new in zone uh, box indication on the HSI, which is going to be uh, amber color. So let's come back around. And what I'll do is I'll come to a heading of 180 and then fly about perpendicular to my attack heading and then I'll roll it.
Okay, there's a target on the uh, targeting pod. Okay, rolling out at 180. And now I'm waiting for about 90 degrees off. You can see we're about 77 degrees off right now. Let's go ahead and come on in. Okay, rolling out. And down now on HSI, we can see our amber in zone queue. prosecute the tag just like we did before in straight line. So placing the velocity vector on the ASL, optimum Q coming down, rubber max, holding down the weapon release button. Weapon away. Okay, waiting for 30 seconds and I'll start the manual lazing. Five. Thirty. Laser on. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And splash. So folks, this is an initial look at the GBU-24 in both the straight line and pre-plan modes. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.